Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> yeah. Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Yeah, buddy. Hey, guess what we got today? We got a little buddy and we got a little bit bigger bugger. <laughs> What we're going to talk about, we're going to show you this one first, because this is the first one I ever got. <laughs> we're going to be talking about these. Do you know what these is? <laughs> Look at this. Opening doors. Yeah. Stylish wheels. Yeah. Uh, nothing on the back end. <laughs> Opening doors. And look at there. It's a right hooker with a steering wheel that looks like it came from a forklift. <laughs> All right, what do we got here today? Well, let's look. Let's hope it's the right side up. Bam! Yeah, there you go. We got it the first time. <laughs> Play Art Range Rover made in Hong Kong. This is the first one that I have ever gotten of a Play Art. Uh, I believe I bought this off of eBay because I can't find them anywhere. Now, I do happen to have uh, in my uh, collection of things that I towed around to uh, club meets and things like that, I do have a small collection of play art that I'm hoping to sell, buy, and trade for more of these little Range Rovers. Now, this is actually a, an early, the first edition Range Rover, the two-door, which I totally love. I totally love. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Range Rover and uh, from Play Art, number seven one eight four from Hong Kong. Um, this has got a metal base and a metal body. Like you see, we got opening doors. That was totally cool. Plastic tan interior. Very nice. Uh, very good representation of the simplicity of the Range Rover interior. Very nice, very nice. Uh, can't beat that. Uh, front end as well, you know, it's got the uh, typical British uh, number plate bracket on the bottom, the uh, blinkers on the side, you know, that uh, toothy grill. <laughs> Uh, the back is a little uh, wanting, not uh, too much details there. Uh, single rivet composure uh, construction. Uh, <laughs> keep your composure, but it uh, tabs in the back there, and uh, then it does have some uh, like light details. It does have the filler cap back there on the rear quarter panel, but uh, very unique. Uh, if you guys uh, are toy uh, hunters and collectors, you know that those are the infamous play art toys, uh, uh, play art wheels. Um, pretty much all their basic, basically all their models had these. So let's take, uh, talk a little bit about play art. Um, well, let's take a look at this one because it's a little bit nicer. This is the second one that I've got. I bought it off eBay. I paid a little bit more because uh, it is a nicer shape, uh, but still it's the same uh, metal metal body, metal base, and just a lot nicer. Now this one uh, did have, you see that there was missing a uh, bumperette bumper in the back there. Uh, the front too, I think, yeah, the front, well it wasn't missing, it's just not as chromey as the... Uh, the second one, but uh, yeah, that, that bumperette, and I could see how that rear bumper could get lost and taken off. Uh, now this one, uh, they changed, this is a later one, because it now it doesn't have opening doors. I think they uh, cost cutting and stuff like that. Those doors do not open, so uh, kind of disappointing there, but hey, a uh, little bit nicer uh, look. All right, going back to the history of uh, play art uh, 1965 to 83 thereabouts something like that uh, they are also known as uh, fast wheels and super speeders then a blister pack I have seen these little buggers uh, come in like a shadow box uh, that they sell you know singly just like a shadow box with a uh, clear window over them 
but uh, mainly uh, the, the this one here is 145th scale, um, and I'd like to say a little bit later um, model than this first one, uh, but uh, still, any kind of play art stuff really calls for uh, good money, really. Um, so, Play Art was a toy company owned by a Hong Kong company, Duncan Tong, and uh, specializing in die cast models, uh, just like Hot Wheels, uh, Matchbox, Tomika. Now, a lot of these die cast were what you, I guess, were die cast seconds. And, uh,. That's kind of one of the first times that I've ever heard that, but it makes sense. They're not the originals, but they might have sold the uh, casting uh, mold machine to somebody and uh, picked them up, and uh, they resemble, but they're not quite as detailed and stuff like that. So they got a lot of their die-cast seconds from Yatming and Tomika. Uh, so very, very cool. Uh, like I say, they're very hard to find here in 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 the America. Well, one thing is they're old, uh, you know, the 60s, 70s. Uh, later on, 83 and and like that, they they got into 124 scale, 143rd scale, and stuff like that. But these these are really more like 164 scale. I, I'm sorry, this is like a 164 scale here. Um, but they were named. Peelers, like as you do in a potato, uh, they <laughs> they were named peelers and sold uh, through Woolworth, and uh, so that's kind of how a lot of these came to the states. And mid seventies and eighties, the uh, Sears was selling them in the blister pack, and uh, they uh, were called Road Mates. And I think they were direct in competition to like Tamika's uh, pocket, pocket rockets or pocket toys, whatever pockets, whatever. But I really enjoy this model. Uh, I wish this one had opening doors. Like I say, I believe this is the uh, first first year edition, and then uh, the the bottom one there is uh, you know later on much nicer. So that's those two cars, and it just so happened that I have a 43rd scale. Yeah, and this also is by Play Art Range Rover Hong Kong. Yeah, so a um, little bit different wheels. These almost uh, uh, look like, um, what's the company? Uh, Postille Company. They kind of look like those wheels, but they're not. But uh, very nice. I think this one had a little custom job, paint job on the back there. But it has uh, lens inserts. It has a chrome uh, bumper. We're starting at the back here, folks. <laughs> no opening features on the back or anything like that. But it is a, uh, yeah, they got kind of carried away with the silver marker there. But it does have opening doors in this scale. And uh, let's try to zoom in here. It's got a nice steering wheel, a little bit more appropriate steering wheel it has the uh, glass and you can see how the uh, uh, light bar is uh, attached to the roof there two holes down there uh, but uh, right hooker nice uh, interior nice uh, look at uh, the uh, simplistic interiors for the old Range Rovers pretty good hefty door there uh, very nice we move around to the front there fire department that's the only uh, uh, de decal on it, and actually you can see it's kind of like a clear sticker that is uh, stuck on there. Uh, the hood does open on this one. Very kind of, very kind of cool. <laughs> very kind of cool. You can see the. Uh, it might be part of the interior. It might be, uh, but you can see the uh, brake reservoir. I can ho hopefully we can hold this still and we can kind of see all the details in there. Very nice battery. Um, very cool, very cool. It's not badged at all, Land Rover, but obviously, well, other than you know, it says here, but no badging on the front. Uh, yellow lens inserts on the sides. Uh, you can see that just kind of a little bit uh, wanting there, but uh, nice, 
uh, chrome bumper there, the old grinning grill of the uh, Range Rover with the, the lens headlights that pop into that plastic. Uh, but just a very, very nice model altogether. I, I really, I didn't know that they had this size and uh, I'm glad that I have it. So it's, it's really pretty cool. Really pretty cool. So uh, that's the that's what I've got for play art. I'm always looking for more of these um, as well as these. Um, I don't know really if there's uh, many or different variations of this red Range Rover. I would think there would be. I don't know exactly how and when they were sold. Um, I would like to know more information about it. If you guys know more about it, uh, you know, please comment down below so, you know, we all can learn a little bit more about play art and, uh, you know, made in Hong Kong. Uh, as far as I know, they ended in 1983 and, um, uh, they're kind of done. I, I really, in my research, I did not see if they got swallowed up by, you know, Mattel or Tomica or, or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. There you go. That's about what I've got there. I am interested in uh, learning more. I hope that uh, someone out there, uh, my one of my subscribers or a passer buyer <laughs> who, who wants to subscribe. By the way, you got to subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. But please subscribe so we can grow the channel, so we can uh, do more stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, just, just have more fun. This is, I mean, this is awesome. I like this way that, you know, this little opening doors and everything. You know, to tell you the truth, I didn't re remember that this one didn't have opening doors. I just, I kind of almost freaked out on, on camera here that this didn't have opening doors. But anyway, that's just, that's just a little side note to you. <laughs> All right, my friends, I'm going to call it a video. I hope you guys en enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you comment up down below if you got any information. Are, were these more prevalent in the UK or in Europe areas? Uh, or in uh, big metropolitan areas that had Woolworths and, and bigger Sears stores uh, here in the States? Uh, do you have any? Let me know below. All right. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And, and also join me on Facebook and uh, Instagram. The links are down below in the description. But uh, we're going to call it a good one here. Thank you, my friends. Make sure you know how it goes. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.